Hi, this is Rich with RichesITblog.com. Today we'll cover monitoring Windows servers with Nagios Core 4. First thing we need to do on our Windows server is to install the NS Client Plus Plus. This is an agent that will communicate information to Nagios. Okay, and we'll go ahead and click through the installation here, accept the license agreement, choose the typical option, proceed with the default. And here we want to remove the password unless you've configured one in Nagios. And then we want to go ahead and put the IP address of the Nagios server and then check the first three boxes and click next. All right, and while this installation process is proceeding and provisioning the firewall rules, we'll go ahead and hop to our other server, which is 2008R2 print server. And again, we'll go ahead and run through the same process. Now, if you're wondering where to get the NS Client Plus Plus, I have provided a download link in the description box under the video. Once again, we'll enter the same information, the Nagios IP, remove the password, and check the first three boxes. And while we're waiting for that installation to complete, we will hop back over to our 2012 server. One of the things we need to take care of is that Nagios checks ICMP ping to determine if a host is up or not, and 2008R2 and later do not by default respond to ICMP. So let's go ahead and type in netsh space firewall space set ICMP8. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, we will go ahead and hop back on over to the 2008R2 server and do the same thing. Again, that command is gonna be netsh space firewall space set space ICMP space eight. All right, all of our prereqs are done on the server. Now we need to identify which processes we want to monitor. So opening services MSC, we want to go ahead and take a look at the services, identifying the service name and the display name. On our 2012 box, this is a domain controller. So the two services that we're interested in are the DNS server service and the Active Directory domain services. As we can see, NTDS is the description for the service name and the display name is Active Directory domain services. With this info in mind, we're going to go ahead and hop on over to our Nagio server. And in the SSH window, we're going to change directory to user local Nagios Etsy objects. And we'll go ahead and make a copy of that Windows CFG file as a backup, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Once that backup's been made, let's hop into the windows.cfg file. First things first, we need to define hosts with the host definitions. So the first one is going to be DC-2012. It's the name of my 2012 domain controller. And we'll also leave that alias name the same. So DC-2012. And then the IP address uh, for this domain controller is 192.168.1.58. And let's make a copy of that. And we'll configure that uh, host definition for our 2008 server. So this one is going to be PR-2008. Configure the alias name to be the same. And we'll configure the IP address to match the IP of that server. We're gonna leave the host group definitions the same as default. And now let's go modify the service definitions. So there's several service definitions that are default here. Uh, what we need to do in order to engage monitoring is just to type the host names that we defined in the host definitions to match. Now mind you, if there are specific services you want to monitor on one server but not the other, you'll only put the host name of that server in that host name for that service definition. Okay, so we're gonna run through these real quick. Some of these are just CPU load, uptime, memory usage, uh, disk space. These are just some of the good general baseline ones to have. Once we've got these configured, we'll create a couple of custom definitions that will monitor the specific services that we're interested in. So the W3 SVC is an IIS service. We don't have an IIS server in this mix, so we're actually going to change this to be one of the services for the DC 2012. So the service description is where we put that display name, which in this case is Active Directory Domain Services. And then in the check command, we're actually going to put the name of the actual service, so in this case, NTDS. And we're gonna skip on down to the last one here, which is Windows Explorer. We're gonna go ahead and enable that for both. I often disable this in production because Explorer will provide false uh, warnings if a server is restarted and you haven't logged back into it. 
Now that we've done that, we're going to copy the service de definition that we created for NTDS twice. And in this bottom one, we're going to modify this for PR2008 for the print spooler service. So again, in this case, since it's only going to be for PR2008, we're only going to put the host name for PR2008 in there. And finally, we have the DNS server service. So we're going to go ahead and change that check command to the service name DNS. And then in the service description, we'll place DNS server. Go ahead and save and quit. Now we need to go ahead and modify that nagios.cfg file and uncomment the path to the windows.cfg. Okay, delete the comment, save, and finally we need to restart the Nagio service, so that will be service Nagios restart. And once this restarts, let's open up our web browser and go to our Nagios page. And as we can see, we have two new hosts in here. And there's each of those services that we're monitoring. Let's go ahead and speed up these checks here. OK, we'll just go through a few more. OK, and we're just rescheduling those checks so that they start sooner. And one other thing to note is that the uh, multicolored option over there under the uh, actions location on the right will let us actually see the host and all of the services that we're monitoring for that host. Um, so as we can see, this is starting to light up green. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out that uh, actions list there. Okay, and so for our 2012 server, we can see all of the services that we're monitoring. Obviously, the gray ones are pending, the green ones are reporting. And we'll look at the PR2008 server as well. And again, we can see that we're still waiting on some of those pending checks. I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick and come back once these checks have all completed. And we can see everything is green and happy now. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe.